we have Shelby Rivera, who voices Peridot. I can't. <laughs> and we have Grace Relic, who voices Connie. So thank you so much, guys, for coming up on this stage and talking to all of us fans. Of course, I am a huge fan. <laughs> thank you. We have an announcement to thank make. Thank you. <clears throat> we... we are, are so excited, excited to be here. So I think Steven Universe is so popular because it is so relatable to not just the younger demographic, but the demographic like myself. So why don't you all tell us why you think that Steven Universe is popular and the kind of themes and perhaps life lessons that not just the younger demographic, but the older demographic gets from watching the series. I think it's so popular because, for one, it's just a very positive show. Yes, it yes. started off like being appealing to, to children, but as the series has developed, as you all know, um, it has the range of fans has like I, I meet people who are like in their 40s and 50s who are like, what to me? Oh my God! <laughs> show I watch it with my kids um, and it's just very positive messages very inclusive mm -hmm. progressive relatable characters and yes. um, it's you you're seeing things for the first time on the show that you've never seen before definitely yeah, yeah? Okay. you guys want to talk about that over here yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, for, for me personally I know that you know even though we're watching a bunch of um, uh, beings from the alien race uh, interact with each other. For me, I find in that that I can uh, relate as a person of color. And through this show, I've definitely um, oh, be, like sort of. Yeah. <laughs> Jasper! Yeah. 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 Your voice is Jasper. Hi. <laughs> but that LA traffic, though. Yeah, I know. Oh. It's like VIP parking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got rescued by a golf cart, so I got rescued okay. by a golf cart. Okay. Too. <laughs> oh, so. no, oh, no, I was just saying. I know we were in mid thoughts. So Dude, I'm sorry. All good, all good. I was just saying this show's really helped me um, become more proud uh, to be an Asian American woman. And, uh, <laughs> um, I think the show for me has themes of uh, it, it's of exploration in feelings, um, like feeling fear, working out those feelings of fear, um, being vulnerable, being um, being scared. Just you know, we go, we're on this journey with Steven as he's growing up with with these gems, um, and a lot of the themes that are written by our awesome Steven Kruniverse, uh, they explore feelings that I, I feel like um, that are important for everybody, no matter what age you are, right. to keep thinking about. Um, we all Definitely. still feel scared as adults. Of course. Um, and Steven Universe offers, it's, it's a vehicle to go on a journey with Steven and the Gems and feel all the weird feelings, the good, the bad, the happy, the sad, and the awesomeness. Yeah, and I think also right now Steven Universe's messages are extremely timely because I, I think that a show that is for children but also can be enjoyed by all ages, talking about the importance of love and how that can overcome so many difficulties and differences between people is super, super important right now. Yeah, definitely um, timely, <laughs> especially with what's going on in the world right now. Yeah, but yeah, of course. completely agree. <laughs> so with all of your different characters, you all are unique in your own way, and when you have to portray these characters, how do you relate to them and how do you convey the certain personalities and characteristics of them? Like how do you connect with them on a personal level when you have to go in the booth and voice them and bring them to life? Oh gosh, well, um, with Lapis, Lazuli, um, can we Lapis fans out there yet? <laughs> oh, she, yeah, I mean, out of all the gems, she's kind of like the most mysterious one still, but she's the newest member, right? Yeah. Reunited, she came back, so she's officially part of the Crystal Gems. Um, yay! 
okay. <laughs> but I think she's so relatable because she's she's the character that has been dealing with a lot of post um, traumatic stress and like just post trauma. And for me personally, like I you know I deal with some anxiety and depression. Um, and you know these these themes are very very uh, important to be able to address um, again because it's so timely um, and just dealing with with how to cope with um, fitting in and um, getting over stressful situations. So for me, I I. I I credit the writing, it's so great how these characters are so well developed and they're so, they come from a real place. And with Lapis, like you've really had, she's really had to earn her way and, and also the way she's been relating to the other gems. You're really seeing her earn uh, the trust with, with like Peridot and her friendship and uh, with Steven, I love just how, you know, he, he really empathizes with her. So I, I can relate to that in so many ways. Uh, oh wow. So to, to, to get into character, um, I wake up. Yeah, I eat a few snacks. Um, you know, I think that there's something to yeah. I think that there's something to Amethyst shape shifting. Um, yes. It's it's like she's trying so hard to fit in, or get, or some, in some cases to really stand out. And um, sort of the journey that I've gone along with with Amethyst is um, you know coming into your own, having a little more confidence. And and um, yeah, I guess that's how our, our lives parallel each other. Definitely you and Amethyst are like, is it, which, how does it end and how does it begin? I feel like you, <laughs> your personality and talking to you, yeah. you embody Amethyst so much. <laughs> Should I shake shit into a cat now? Like, uh, <laughs> or a chicken? Yeah. Right now? <laughs> uh, I think for Peridot, uh, she's basically my spirit animal. Uh, yeah. I'm very different than Peridot in real life. Um, I really admire Peridot and the fact that she doesn't have a filter. Uh, Shelby in real life has somewhat of a filter, uh, or I try to at least. Uh, but I really admire the way Peridot really feels. She feels like 175%. And, and whatever she's feeling, and, and though she doesn't understand it, she really, really feels it. So um, to get into character, I just kind of open up my third eye because uh, I got to just let her go. And, and it's, it's nice. I can get my anger out through Peridot. <laughs> So you She's don't still so sweet. So you don't call people clods in real life? I do in my head all the time. But not, well, I only allow Peridot in her voice to say that. Or that's like, her special that's word. That's fair. Or like only when they're named Claudia. Claudia. Yeah. <laughs> Claudette. Yeah. Um, for me, Connie really reminds me in a lot of ways of my younger self, like when I was Connie, the character's age. Um, and I, I, I really relate to her journey as a character, kind of going from being this bookwormish type, being um, like a little bit of a loner, but like, and then growing into like more bravery and all this charisma and learning how to share all that she has with the world in a like, just growing up and learning how to have a strong sense of inner value and being growing as a person in, yes. a, in a strong way. As someone who's known you since you were I know, 14, I was just gonna <laughs> say, like, we've seen it happen. It's really cool. Both, both you and Zach, like yes. you've seen grow up on this show. It's grow so. on screen and yes, off. Yes, it's amazing. You're a woman. <laughs> since I was like 15 yeah, when wow. he was 14 and so it's really funny like going into the records like mm -hmm. and I mean before we started going to conventions with each other like just seeing Zach like maybe like uh, once every couple of like weeks or months and just seeing like like puberty happen like in <laughs> sports it's funny <laughs> it's cool um well I'm 
nothing like Jasper. <laughs> I try not to be anyway, so it's like real acting. <laughs> I don't call people puny little runs. Well, sometimes. To me. On the day. Oh, yeah, because sometimes Michaela, just, but other than that. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, I'm actually, I'm waiting for Rebecca to call me back so Jasper can have some sort of redemption. In my opinion. <laughs> Um, but it's so much fun. I love working on the show so much. It's just like, I don't know. It, the fandom is incredible. Yes. The, um, wow. the love for the show, the representation, everything. It's just an, it's yeah. an amazing show to be a part of. And I wish you get to work with you guys more. We I need know. to be just back. I know. Yes. <laughs> All a little bit talked about show. Um, is there a that sticks out to you that represents your growth? Or do you have a favorite oh, mm -hmm. particular character? In case oh, she, she cut out, out, she said, uh, ask I know. Us Sorry about the mic. <laughs> if there is a particular episode that we really identified with. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. And stands out, right? And that shows growth? So, what you saying? Yeah. So, you're. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, gosh. Um, I think with Lapis, the. the sh Gosh, maybe um, Barnmates was a good, a good one with with with, uh, with seeing. Uh, that was the one where we kind of reconciled, right? Like yeah, you started making me more. You gave me your gift. No, was that was that when you gave me that gift? So you gave me the gift, and I was like, I yeah, don't want more. your garbage. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> yeah, let me work. yeah, I'm I'm loving their their relationship in that barn, and just. You know, like, yeah, my meat more. Yes, yeah, meat more. Can you not remember meat my meat more? That's right. <laughs> I wish you guys And you know that note, that amazing note. Uh, that when you when you gave me that note, you remember? Oh, yes. Um, thank you so much for, I don't know, I don't, I don't remember. Anyway, yeah, so Barn Mates, <laughs> I think it's my favorite because you can really see the, the dynamic with Peridot and Lapis, and you can see her, like, finally sort of adjusting to her new environment again with just with seeing her evolution and she's really trying um, she's kind of a misunderstood character so I think that the fact that she's trying to fit in you know uh, she should be given some credit um, so <laughs> yeah she's trying you guys so yeah. <laughs> I wish you guys would open up a real Meep Morp store on Etsy <laughs> a Meep Morp gallery for sure um, <laughs> Faith that okay but um, for me, an amethyst, I would say a recent episode, uh, What's Your Problem? Yeah. Um, yeah. I think, you know, I mean, she was deemed by Stephen at that point as the most mature crystal gem. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that seemed like a very difficult episode for Amethyst to get yeah. her feelings out. Totally. To be able to communicate them and also to have enough, um, you know, awareness to, to, want Steven to express his own uh, feelings so and to try to help guide him through that so yeah uh, my favorite episode was back to the kindergarten uh, <laughs> thank you so yeah I, I mean well you're so good in that as you're well so like <laughs> when Peridot's super depressed and I think we've all been there in the bathtub mm, yes, and yes. Amethyst tries to and you Steven help me out yeah. and I <laughs> ask like can I bring my music <laughs> and you're like no and we yeah. go back to the Peridot I mean, to the paradox, to the kindergarten. Um, I can really relate to that because I think we've all had moments where we are really, really excited. Um, you know, like when you do that whole change of, of, of thought where, you know, you might be sad about or like really disappointed and then you're like, you know what, you know, let me give it one more chance. So you, Peridot gave it one more chance after, you know, trying to grow sunflowers in, in the kindergarten. And then she goes back the next day and they're all dead. And she just throws the biggest fit ever because she's so disappointed. But with the help of friends saying, we can do this, let's do it again. And she she has this moment of realization. She's like, yeah, it did work. It's, it's okay. And that moment when they're on the train and she's like, thanks, guys. And she says it in like a really genuine way. That was that was something that I, I, I've been through in my life, um, being frustrated and sad and then being happy and then back to frustrated again. Life is like peaks yeah. and valleys, everyone. Yeah. It's not just an easy roller coaster, all right? And that, that, made, that, that episode made me cry. I was like, that was really special to me. Maybe it's not about the output. Maybe the flowers grew within. 
it oh. that was 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 oh. so oh. that so oh. Okay, so like three or four episodes flashed into my head when you first asked this question, but I think I'm going to decide on talking about mindful education because, yes, because Here Comes a Thought is like one of my favorite songs on the show. And also, like, it's, it's, it's going back to, like, timely messages in the show, like, talking about, like, how you can center yourself when you're feeling anxious and all of these, like, chaotic thoughts are swirling in your head. It's, like, so great that that is a message that was able to be put into the show. But for Connie as a character and through Stevani, <laughs> Connie, it, it, it's part of, like, growing up and learning how to, like, I mean, if you're going to be a warrior, you're going to have to learn how to uh, figure out how to silence your worries and get through what you need to do in a way that isn't just squashing it down, because that's only going to make it bubble up, but actually working through it and breathing through it and getting through it in a mindful way. It's a very, it's, I, I think that was an important moment for Connie and for Steven and so Stevani. <laughs> okay, um, well, like I said, I think Jasper's epi best episode is yet to come. <laughs> right? The redemption episode. Redemption episode. Yes. With the song. The With the rap song, I think, is what you want, right? You yes. want a rap song. Yes. yes. A rap song. Maybe, I don't know, maybe like a country song. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't already <laughs> know. Jasper yeah. Ryder. I love that. <laughs> But um, I think that um, it's really, it, like I said, it's great to play Jasper, and I think she, she's very misunderstood. Does anyone else feel that way? That she's for something else, right? I don't know. That was a pretty toxic fusion. Um, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> she has her. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I, like I said, I think her best episodes yet to come. I don't know if you'll be able to tell us anything, but it was announced that there will be a Steven Universe movie coming out on our TV. Is there anything that you can tell us that, any themes, any, anything? I know it's yeah. probably under wraps, can't divulge enough of That is a great question. <laughs> <laughs> Keep watching. Uh, yeah. the answer. <laughs> it's awesome. It's, it's a awesome. movie. It's, it's a awesome. movie. There's it's a music. Thumbs up. Perfect. <laughs> yes. There's singing. There, there, yes. there is music. There's conflict. Can confirm. A character named Steven Universe. First name mm. Steven. Last <laughs> name Universe. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's there are gems in it. There's <laughs> gems. Yeah. There is also humans. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there might be a redemption yeah. arc, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. I, don't know. Mm. I think those I are all. I don't know true. anything about I that. <laughs> Well, I think to round out this panel, since we have to end pretty soon, can you guys quickly give us your favorite song? Because music is so important within this series. So do you know have a favorite song? I mean, Stronger Than You? Yeah. Yes, that's my favorite. And Mindful Earth. Yeah, here comes a thought, too. That's of course. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Greg? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's over, isn't it? Is like just oh, my heart. Um, yeah, I, 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 that's my answer. I'm gonna say stronger than you because Jasper would obviously sing that stronger than you. It's no other choice. Oh, and distant shore. Hello. Oh, yeah. A shout out to that. Yay. Well, I think what you all have discussed, saying that there's growth and that. There's so much for both the younger and the older demographic, and it is timely, and it hits on issues that maybe some shows are afraid to discuss or feel that, oh, it's too taboo, or, but I love the fact that Steven Universe can appeal to a wide audience, and hopefully a lot of lessons are learned, and however long Steven Universe continues, I would have it go on for seasons and seasons forever. <laughs> not realistic, but you all bring so much to your characters, and I think we all thank you so much for making Stevie oh, Thank Universe. you guys. Thank, thank, you. thank you all for coming show. out.
thank you guys so much for coming to the Stephen Universe panel. I hope you got a little bit more insight into these characters. I know I did. And <laughs> Thanks, thank you guys thank for coming. You. Thank you.